Picture this. You're diving in the depths of the Mediterranean Sea and stumble upon a 2,000-year-old computer. That's precisely what happened in 1901 when the Antikythera mechanism was discovered. This artifact is often dubbed as the world's first analog computer. Made up of over 30 intricate bronze gears, it could predict lunar and solar eclipses, track the moon's subtle motion through the sky, and even recreate the irregular orbit of the planet Mars. Researchers believe it was used for astrology, navigation, or even to schedule the Olympic Games. Imagine, in an era without electricity or computer chips, having a device that could calculate celestial events. Can you believe that some of the ancient Roman buildings still stand tall today, while modern concrete structures can deteriorate in just a few decades? The secret lies in the unique composition of Roman concrete. It included volcanic ash, which allowed it to set underwater and gain strength over time. Scientists have even discovered that exposure to seawater makes it stronger due to the formation of rare minerals. Modern engineers are so intrigued by its durability that they're studying the ancient formula for use in today's construction. Talk about standing the test of time. Archimedes was not just an ancient Greek mathematician, but also a pioneer of military tech. According to legend, he developed a death ray using a series of mirrors to focus sunlight onto enemy ships, setting them aflame. While historians debate the feasibility of this invention, it certainly sparks the imagination. Imagine being the poor sailor noticing that your ship is suddenly on fire from an invisible force. Archimedes was nothing short of a genius. Apart from the mythical death ray, he also invented a much more pragmatic tool, the Archimedes screw. This simple yet effective device could lift water from a low-lying body to a higher elevation just by turning a handle. Initially used to drain water from ships and irrigate fields, the Archimedes screw is still in use today for various applications. One man, two inventions that span the spectrum from fantastical to functional. In the Byzantine Empire, a weapon called Greek fire was so secretive and effective that it was considered almost magical. Imagine flamethrowers that could even burn on water. Made of petroleum, quicklime, and sulfur, the exact composition remains a mystery. This technology gave Byzantine ships a considerable edge in naval warfare and terrified opponents. Just thinking about being on the receiving end of this liquid fire is enough to give anyone chills. Imagine having to cross a deep canyon and the only thing connecting the two sides is a rope bridge. The Incas didn't have steel or iron for construction, but they did have intricate weaving skills. Using local materials like grass and cotton, they built rope bridges that were so stable they could support the weight of entire armies. This isn't just DIY, this is engineering ingenuity at its best, using only the resources nature provided. What did the ancient Mayans and your car tires have in common? Rubber. The Mayans were the first to develop a process to make rubber from latex, found in the sap of local trees. They used it for a range of products, from footwear to bouncy rubber balls for their games. These rubber balls were part of a ritual game where the stakes were so high that losing could literally be a matter of life and death. It's extraordinary how one material could be both fun and sacred. When we think of the Iron Age, Europe often comes to mind. But did you know the Kingdom of Nok in present-day Nigeria was producing iron tools as early as 500 BCE? The Africans used shaft furnaces, which were more efficient than European bloomeries. This allowed for higher production, leading to more complex societies and specialized labor. It's a profound testament to the rich history of African innovation, long before Europe caught up. Could you solve a quadratic equation without a calculator? The ancient Babylonians could. The Plimpton 322 tablet, dated to around 1800 BCE, contains Pythagorean triples and reveals an advanced understanding of trigonometry. The Babylonians had practical applications for this knowledge, using it in construction and taxation. It's fascinating to think that their base 60 numerical system is the reason why we still divide circles into 360 degrees and measure time in minutes and seconds. Who would have thought that kites could serve as military tech? In ancient China, kites weren't just for fun. They were also used in warfare. Some were large enough to carry a man for reconnaissance missions. Others were used to drop propaganda leaflets over enemy lines or to measure distances. 
intricate designs even allowed for kites that could emit sounds, creating the illusion of an invading army. A simple toy transformed into a versatile tool of strategy. Talk about creative innovation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these incredible facts, remember to like this video and subscribe to Psy Pulsar for more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious and see you soon.